Hey besties. How are we doing today? I just, 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 just walked in from work. So if I look a little gross, it's because I am. I know some of y'all know, but I did switch occupations. It's a, it's a step up, so that's good. Before I was a supervisor at a place, now I am the assistant manager at a place, so. Been working a lot more, but I'm making more cash money, honey, so. Love that for me. Anyways, enough about me. So squad, besties, loves of my life. On August 17th, Miss Amberlyn did yet another <laughs> drinking live stream. That usually seems to go really well for her, so this is gonna be a really good, high quality video. We are watching this on the Apathetic Facts channel. Thank you so much, bestie. So with that being said, let's do this. The last time Becky and I, <laughs> do I really want to say this? The last time Becky and I, um, you know, was February, 2018. So take that. What? I know not. Every relationship needs to have intimacy, but girl, I wonder if you guys can hear my cat taking a poopy right now. When she poops, she scratches the side of her litter box. With what you will. Um, That's so right. So it's been years that I just literally felt like I wasn't even in a relationship. So now maybe you guys can understand now why I've moved on. Oh. Wifey, what are your intentions with our girl? Are you going to say that out loud or? <laughs> I'm joking. I don't even know what that meant. Okay, go. Okay, bye. That's my wife. Your is to... Wait, wifey's on FaceTime. We're meeting wifey. Hopefully marry her one day. Stop. <laughs> okay, so they're both picking this way too fast, and that's concerning on- <gasps> I thought you left because you opened the door all big and wide. We're getting some good pet ASMR. Thank you. Okay, well, you heard it here. Okay, you guys. So I'm having like anxiety moment. So we're just Why? gonna like What's going on? together. I figured I'd drink some wine. Oh, I'm having anxiety. I think you drink some wine. That seems like a really good idea. This is Rose Bay. Oh, oh I, I like Rose. Like hot minute, so, you guys, I'm giving you free will and opportunity to ask whatever you want right now. Y'all, you yelled at us though. Here. She's not here, and I'll explain why. I guess. Um, when more people come in here, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I stopped drinking, so I'm living vicariously through you. Okay, so I'm gonna take my first drink now. Mm -hmm. Oh, How that's good. I'm not gonna lie. Good? Is everything okay? I mean, yeah, kind of. Um, and I just wanna say that I, I'm not gonna chug it, oh my God. Um, that I'm definitely not gonna be able to see all the chat because I'm gonna just be reading it off of here, so. Not the aesthetic wine. Oh my god, so you've been watching? I bought this for decoration. <laughs> yeah, and I bought others for decoration because they were just like cute wine bottles. I feel so. that. Girl, I'm the same way. If I go to a liquor store and I see a cute wine bottle, bitch, that's an add to cart moment for me. <laughs> you guys remember that um, drunk live stream I did? Oh, we After sure do. Broke up with me? We sure do. <laughs> How could we forget? is on here like that is so gross like who am i tell me boo how much you need me and love me this was a rough oh, time baby, bitch. okay okay by the way this is my first valentine's day that i am single in 10 years so that was a hootenberry it was a hootenberry um, sister hey amber i hope you're doing well thank you i am actually i'm doing pretty good i am having a little bit of anxiety i guess i'll tell you guys why um so becky went to her family's this weekend and Becky already said that we, me and her talked for like, should we say, or should we not? We decided we will say. So Becky went to her family's this weekend and one of the family members that she was hanging out with started feeling sick. Oh no. So she went, I think like to urgent care or something. Oh no. And got rapid COVID tested and she tested positive. <gasps> so Becky is quarantining. Oh for two man. Weeks, and I'm alone for two weeks. Like I'm kind of like anxiety about it. Like for sure. Oh uh, <laughs> damn. I mean, first of all, I want to wish Becky's family member health, healing, peace, and love because fuck, that sucks. That's rough. I hope that Becky is safe and healthy. I hope that, you know, this is just a quarantine for precautionary measures and hopefully she does not get sick because I don't want to see Miss Becky getting sick. I don't want to see anybody getting sick except for Chris Watts. He can go fuck himself. But everybody else, I don't want to see them getting sick. Ugh. So. 
I'm gonna be fine though. Like I know I'm gonna be fine. But, hey, well, girl. Um, I just don't feel comfortable with Becky coming here. Obviously. It yeah. Makes most, sen most sense for her to um, stay with her family. Who totally. Has the COVID since she was already there. So, um, I'm a little worried because it was like nine days ago. I was actually hanging out with Becky's sister. She's not the one with COVID, but Becky's sister lives with the one that has COVID. If that makes sense. So yeah, I'm trusted. Just be safe. Worried, but I'm pretty sure I'm fine. Is your immune system too weak to fight it, or are you just trying to avoid it? Um, I don't know if my immune system's bad or not, but I'm definitely trying to avoid it. Yeah, I, I mean, lost. girl, aren't we all? Mm -hmm. Obviously. So, yeah. So this live stream's gonna be probably boring because Becky's not here. I feel like Becky's like the entertainment. Yeah, she is. <laughs> yeah. That's uh -huh. such a fucking lie. Oh my god. That is not. Well, really, I think it's just we vibe off of each other's. So, <sighs> I don't have that person to vibe off of. I don't know how to do YouTube by myself anymore. That's sad. I'm just being honest. Like, I don't know what it is. Um, I'm no longer single. Oh yeah, that's right. Sis, she changed her bio on Instagram to in a relationship, so her and wifey, they're a thing. So that's that. I don't know. I'm sure you guys all know because um, I put Taken. <laughs> yeah, we know. <laughs> oh my god. I put Taken on my um, Instagram. Mm-hmm. I am Taken. <laughs> yeah, we saw the Insta. I know. Um, she asked me to be her girlfriend. I was not expecting it at all. Um, obviously I said yes. Let's be real. When will y'all get to meet in person? Um, September, but she keeps trying to come like sooner and I'm just like super anxious about it. I feel um, that. My cat's scratching her little scratch board. I guess she was just getting stressed about Amberlynn and wifey moving too fast. <laughs> I'm nervous, so... I'm not, I'd be nervous too. I'm all giddy talking about her. I know! Because she really does make me happy and a lot of people don't get it or understand, which I totally get it. I feel like if I was watching someone who literally just got out of a relationship and like already was in another one, I'd be like, oh my god, what the hell's wrong with this person? But I don't think there's anything wrong with you. I'm just a little worried that like the emotions are heightened to cover up the pain of losing Becky. Like I know you guys are friends, but I mean, there still has to be some mourning just losing the relationship and the relationship changing what it is. So I'm just a little worried that Becky's relationship is just kind of being covered up like a band-aid. You guys were not in a relationship with Becky and I and you're not nope. feeling how I feel with this other person. So I understand why you guys Fair, are I guess. confused and stuff, but it's like the opposite of confusing for me. So okay, you're moving way too fast. I'm good. Like trust me. All right. Trust me. Just trust me. I trust like, you, it bestie. Felt like me and Becky were just roommates, so it was easier for me to move on. But you have so much okay. to work on within yourself. Mm -hmm. I do, and she's been helping me with that. Like she supports me in ways that I've never been supported. Like I've literally talked about this before, so I feel like I'm repeating myself. But um, I don't know. She's just a great person. So. That's great. Um, is this going to be a drunk lens stream? I don't think I'm going to get drunk. <laughs> is wifey moving in? Um, I don't really know if I have an answer to that. Um, I understand if y'all felt like roommates and it's easy to move on because not much has changed after the breakup. Perfect. Um, All right. She doesn't care if I talk about this. I don't care what she says. I don't care. Like, whatever. But um, we never kissed. We, like, never hugged. Like, she never complimented me. I probably didn't compliment her. Like, I wasn't perfect either. Um, there was just nothing. Like at all, so it's like because it did feel kind of like I was stuck in a cage and I didn't know how to get out. All right, let's not let's let's not let's not, let's not, let's not degrade Becky like that. Just because she's like not an affectionate partner doesn't mean that she's not a good partner. When I hear that she felt like she was stuck in a cage, that kind of implies that Becky was keeping her in a cage. I just hate how Amberlynn's just always so shady towards Becky because from what I've seen, Becky's been like nothing but respectful and defensive about Amberlynn, and she's just not getting that in return. And I'm pretty sure that's how she felt too, because you can like tell she just seems like relieved and stuff. Um, romance goes and friendship stays is common. Yeah, like there wasn't even ever like romance, like never. Um, it was just really weird. I think her and I were just very lonely when we first met. So oh. it was just like easy to, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but it doesn't even matter. The point is I wasn't happy with her like that and she wasn't happy with me. And now I am happy. And Good. it is what it is. Why did you agree to marry her? Um, wait, do you believe in lesbian bed death? I do. Wait, what? I do believe in that. Um, why did you agree to- I don't know what she said and I'm not gonna rewind because I feel like I don't want to know what that is. <laughs> oh no. Like you guys, you guys know that when I announced my engagement, you guys saw that like, I didn't seem as happy as like a normal like person would be. That's and true. I'm trying to like tell you guys, no, that's not true. Like I am really happy. Like obviously I was happy 
because it's like okay i got a beautiful ring and like becky wants to be with me forever like it's a good feeling but deep down in my gut i i wasn't happy like i should have been and yeah like i come on live stream a lot and you know what i i actually do remember that i remember i was like she seems like she's just like announcing something so simple and not exciting and she wasn't like always wearing her engagement ring maybe it's just an excuse that she's making up but i actually could believe and understand that because she didn't seem excited she it, it was weird it was very weird i think everybody could agree that it was very weird i guess maybe that does point to her also maybe being unhappy in the relationship I don't think it's fair to make Becky sound like an awful partner because you can be unhappy with like the greatest partner in the world that's just like there's no chemistry you know what I mean and I try to like act happier than I really am sometimes and I think that's what I did with the whole like engagement thing is like I was trying really hard to be like yes I'm happy about this but I just felt I honestly didn't feel anything when she proposed and it's like it's so embarrassing but like I kind of like <laughs> this is so embarrassing of it here's tea you know how, like, when you're, when someone proposes, like, you're supposed to, like, cry? Like, I low-key, like, try to fake cry. Oh. I'm so bad. Oh, my God. Admitting it is, like, so just horrible. Oh, no. Becky I mean, that's a shitty thing to do, but, like, I can understand why she felt the pressure to fake cry. Even if, like, she was happy and excited, I can totally understand, like, feeling like you have to pretend you're crying just to make your partner feel excited and happy. We're good like that. We're really good as friends. Um... And I know a lot of people, now I'm rambling, but I'm totally fine with that. So I know a lot of people are like, oh my god, Amberlynn is like so mean to Becky. Yeah. <laughs> we just joke around. I never okay. ever mean any harm towards Becky. I never want to hurt Becky. Um, I don't know if I believe that, but okay. She does the same thing. Like, she throws such hard shade at me. Like, so it's just something that we both do. Do you think you got with Becky to avoid being alone? Um, no. Because I was living by myself at the time, and I actually kind of enjoyed it. Like, you get to walk around naked. There's no one there to like mess up your house like because i like my place really clean and becky and i are very different when it comes to that um we're different like when it comes to decor when it comes to like rules of the house like everything is so different mm. so you know living by yourself is actually really nice i get that at the time um i enjoyed living by myself so it definitely was not that at all i think, I think that... they meant romantically alone though not like living alone but like romantically alone and she like literally earlier said that she thinks that they were together because they were lonely so it kind of sounds like you were with becky because you didn't want to be alone not physically, but like emotionally, romantically. I was just hurting really. I know this people are gonna be like, oh my God, a pattern. I promise this is totally different this time. I swear to you. But like, I was hurting really bad when Destiny broke up with me. Yeah. And I kind of wanted to numb that. So like, I almost like sought Becky out in a way. Ugh, it's so hard to explain. And it's not like that at all now because like I, I wasn't Yeah, really she was hurting. a rebound. Like I thought I was hurting, but really when Becky broke up with me, I was just scared of the future is what it was. I was crying because like, I was scared of what that was gonna mean for me um for my future i get that like the unknown freaks me out like really bad so when i thought i was crying because becky broke up with me it wasn't even i don't know how to explain it it's really hard to like i should be talking to my therapist about this like what am i doing now <laughs> is that why you never wore the rings <sighs> kind of yeah I, when i wore them i didn't feel proud like i thought they were beautiful a lot of people hated on them which is so weird to me because honestly i think they're super pretty <laughs> like i do um but i just didn't feel like proud wearing it yeah uh oh just know that you aren't fooling anyone amber we all knew you weren't excited just like we all know when you go to diet okay love that <laughs> um last stream was crazy i know i wonder if you and wifey will get along in domestic life yeah um i feel like we will how Let's she propose <laughs> i don't want to share like really how she did it but it wasn't like anything that i wanted love that oh you weren't in love with her and you said yes you accept the love that you think that you deserve and i literally like felt like i was like trapped in a way um, will you say sorry for lying to us for the past three years? No, because my sexual life is no one's business. And if I want to say I'm having sex when I'm not, that's my business. If I want to say, I'm hi, are you coming to save me from a really awkward moment? You coming to save all of us? She was just taking the long way just to say hi. I mean, it's true that her sexual life is absolutely nobody's business and I would never say that it was, but it is, it, it's a little weird to lie to your audience that like you are sexually active. Cause like you said, you could, you could just say it's not their business because it's not. But also I can understand like feeling pressure to say that you are sexually active, but also it would have been totally valid and fair to say, Hey, I don't want to talk about my sex life on here. I know I don't. That's, that's personal and a little, a little odd. So I, I, I get it. I'm not having sex. When I am, like, it is what it is. I don't think, you know, do you think either of you are asexual? No, absolutely not. I am not asexual at all. Um, no. I'm a very affectionate and sexual person. And when I first got with Becky, I was that. 
and Becky even told you guys before in a live stream that um she like in the beginning she was very rude to me and like cold and like standoffish and stuff and it completely changed who I was as a person like I stopped being affectionate I stopped like I just stopped being myself like it was so weird and um yeah I'm definitely not asexual I'm very sexual person so cool you're heartless on how you treat Becky I'm sorry that I seem like that okay. uh oh um is wifey moving in in September she's visiting um I don't really have any like updates on like moving in or whatever <sighs> you were never sex sexually attracted to Becky um I don't know how to answer that question okay I really don't when are you moving out I don't know if I'm moving out I don't want to would you ever live stream with wifey on FaceTime <laughs> you know that's actually a hootenberry because I like how that's her new word <laughs> because she might be on FaceTime right now <laughs> But she's muted because I said, Shh, don't be talking. So, wait, I wonder if she would say something. <gasps> if you show wifey, I'll donate $50. No, absolutely not. You'd have to donate like 50 million. She might talk. <laughs> oh my god. What's she gonna say? <laughs> oh my god, do you hear me echoing? Oh my god, do you hear me echoing? Wait, no, mute me. Do you hear that? That was so annoying because she's watching me. So, all right, you guys. All right. Wait, babe, what are you doing? She sounds sexy. <laughs> you have no idea. You have literally no idea. Oh my god. I was thinking the alcohol was gonna make me like feel hot in my face, but it's actually this. So, <laughs> it's nervous. Can we ask her questions? Ooh. Hmm. Love that. Oh, she called her babe. Yeah, we call each other babe, baby, like all of it. Um, what is wifey's favorite thing about you? Do you want her to just text it? Okay, I'm gonna say just text it because it like echoes and it's weird. <sighs> okay, let's see. This is so I'm curious funny. too. Oh boy. That's not something I would normally ask someone, I would think. Your heart. You are the kindest and most giving person I've ever had the pleasure to have in my life. I'm leaving. That's sweet. Ugh. Okay, so that was her answer. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. That is really sweet. <laughs> Someone said wifey got jokes. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are so mean. What is her favorite food? Ooh, that's a good one. I don't know. <laughs> Do you want to um say it out loud or text it? <laughs> say it out loud. Okay, say it again. You guys hear her? Ramen? There you go. There you go. Good choice. I answered that already, by the way. Is she American? Yes. Cool. Uh, favorite hobbies? I just built a computer, so I guess that. I don't know if you guys heard her, but she just built a computer. Oh, that's cool. That's fun. <laughs> awesome. Oh, is that Destiny? I'm leaving. Uh, okay, what's your favorite music artist? J. Cole. J. Cole, hey, you know what? Wifey has some good taste, okay? A building computers is really cool, a lot of fun. I've tried to do it, but I'm not smart enough, so work, love that for you. J. Cole, excellent artist. Ramen, excellent food choice. So far, so good. I approve so far. How did y'all meet? Okay, I can answer that. Instagram, right? She messaged me on Instagram, and I replied. <laughs> and you know what's really funny? Um, I ignored her at one point. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I sure did. Sure and did. So she ended up sending another message, and then I was like, "No, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna reply." So, no, she is not transgender. Um, I didn't realize people were asking. Hmm. How long has Wifey been a sub for? <laughs> She's not. Oh wait, oh wait, are you talking about subscribe? Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. I mean, fair. I mean, people ask Amberlynn a lot of sexual questions because, like, there's always the creepy feeders that she has. So you know what? Fair. <laughs> Wait, are you guys talking about subscriber or like? I, I think subscriber, I mean, sis. I'm actually leaving. But I mean, you never know, girly. She's not submissive, by the way. Okay. What's your favorite movie? Hold on. <gasps> You're back again! Damn. Babe, come on. Oh, you scared me. Okay, wait, what is it? Wait, I forget. Give me a hint. The one I used to watch with my mom. How do I not remember this? Okay, what's my favorite movie then? Ooh. Boy, 
Boys Town. Okay, you're right. You're oh, right. <laughs> that's a good movie. That's good that she okay, remembers that. that. I forget. Don't judge me for this. Willie Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. <gasps> yes. Yes, Willie. Oh. Okay, girl. I'm so mad. How did I forget that? Mm -hmm. My favorite movie is Call Me By Your Name. You sing, so I feel included. I'm by an Amber Shame Becky's ex for sleeping with men. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, my Did that really happen? Ew. Hey, I love that. Will you and Wifey make vids together in September? No. If Becky hadn't broken up with you, would you still be together? Yes, we probably would. Because I'm very much that type of person who is afraid to... <laughs> I can't. Is afraid to, um... What was I saying? To leave. How long are you going to make Wifey wait for loving? Do you mean sex? I don't know, like five minutes? <laughs> Ew! <laughs> Keep us updated if Wifey visits. Oh my god, of course! Like, totes. Um, well, well she's visiting next month, right? I don't really know the future like that. <laughs> Sorry, I keep having to block people. Like, I'm just yes, not. Excuse me? She said, yes, I will be. <sighs> oh my god. Y'all, I'm in love. I'm in love. And you know what? So is she. And you know what? This is the first time she's ever been in love, actually. I mean, I don't want to like, because I don't, obviously, I don't know how you're actually feeling, but it sounds like y'all might be in lust. You're in the honeymoon phase. That's not really what love is. Love is being able to fart together. You don't know if you love somebody until you know what their farts smell like. Say that? I'm sure she's fine with it. It is what it is. Y'all don't have to understand it like we do, and that's totally fine. Like, it's totally fine. Like, literally. Okay, girl. How did wifey pop the girlfriend question? The girlfriend question. Mm, I think it was like a casual, like, thing. The way that she did it, which I love. Okay. So, it's just like, I think she just felt it and went for it. Cool. I don't know how, but she does find me beautiful. I, like, can't figure it out. Um, <laughs> It's so weird. I just feel really lucky. <sighs> it's really weird. It's like the universe was like, Amberly and I got you. You need to reply to this. You need to reply to this girl. So. I'm the lucky one, like. Oh my god, stop. Nope. Nope. <laughs> when was Wifey's last girlfriend before you? Um, a little recent. <laughs> oh, so you're both rebounding. A bit recent. Um, she just didn't vibe with her, so. Like, look at my chest. What is going on? What here? happened? Y'all, alcohol's not for me. Like, I'm just, like, super lightweight. It's so weird. I am too. <laughs> oh my god, you're scary. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I am. Am I? <gasps> we got a cat cameo from her too. My cat's sitting on my lap, providing emotional support. Special. I am a little special. That's okay, girl. Me too. You're absolutely fine, my love. Okay, thanks. <gasps> Wait, does flushing from alcohol raise cancer risks? Hold on. Why huh? Do, do you guys? Okay, you know what's really funny? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Is that really true? Sure? I did. I flush when I drink alcohol. That's concerning. <laughs> mm -hmm. Look how red I am. I'm leaving. We have four. Wait, can I answer this question? Wait, what's the question? My drink of choice. Okay, what's your drink of choice? Casamigos and lemonade. Oh, never, had it. never tried that. Yeah, me either, girl. Wait, Sounds good though. Not a fan. All right, squad. That was today's video. Me and my cat say thank you so much for watching. An extra, extra special shout out to my beloved channel members Quinn Simmons, Mystic Magic Luna Meowers, Jasmine Lavon, Seabell, Senya, Meredith, A. Smith, Ida, Sophie Watson, Blukey, and Sally Hall. I appreciate y'all giving me a little extra, extra support. I love you. I cherish you. What do you guys think of Wifey so far? I can't lie. I kind of might be approving a little bit. She seems like a cool bitch. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on your way out. Join the Grand Children Library by subscribing today. If you want extra brownie points, you can also ding the notification bell. Because why wouldn't you want to see my face in your notification feed? I love you dearly. Thank you so much for spending precious minutes of your life with me. Hey, if you don't mind me asking, since I told you, what do you do for work? Can you tell me what you do for work? What is your career? That's the question of the day. I love you.